For this week's video, I'll be unboxing a really special, really sought after, and really unexpected figure, actually. I mean, this is relevant to a lot of people's queer identity, if I'm being honest. Okay, here it is. Hello, it's me, Mimim, and welcome to my world. So in my last video, I was able to open a really special Pop Mart statue. I opened the Hirono Reshape statue. I think it was their 200% figure. It was my first ever big figure slash statue from Pop Mart. And I just love the story behind it. And I just see myself in it. And this week's video is no different. We started Pride Month with a bang. Now let's finish it with fireworks. For this week's video, I'll be unboxing a really special, really sought after, and really unexpected figure, actually. I never expected that Pop Mart would collaborate with this anime. Yes, it's an anime. And no, it's not just any Pop Mart anime series of figures. It's actually a collab. I mean, Pop Mart has collaborated with a lot of different animes. They had multiple different anime collabs using their IPs. And they're so, so cute. And this one doesn't disappoint. But first, let's unbox one blind box figure. I actually bought this figure because I was trying to buy from a new site and I was trying to set up all of my payment details and stuff. Just so that next time, when I order there, it would be smoother. Because if you're an avid Pop Mart fan, you know that things sell out in seconds. This blind box, I actually saw this like months ago. And this is a fairly new IP of Pop Mart. This is Kubo. Select your character. I've always wanted to buy this because Kubo is so, so cute. And the designs of this series are so, so amazing, so, so detailed. I really want the Alchemist because he's wielding fire and like magic. I've always gravitated towards gaming characters that are wielding magic. So let's unbox this. I'm hoping for the alchemist because I love, love that design. Hopefully it's the alchemist. I'll not peek at the card. Oh, there's like things on it. Okay. It's a small figure and it doesn't have the alchemist hat so i think it's not the alchemist oh this looks so so cute this is not the alchemist but i love the design kubo's gray hair and in the shirt it has like skeleton details and the pants is like translucent and he's like disappearing oh it has some accessories Ooh, what's the name of this figure doombringer that's cool yep doombringer is so so cute it has some accessories over here it has like a scythe is that what it this is called a scythe this one and it attaches oh and the mask and the mask is magnetic oh my god it's so cute this is so so cute i knew i wished for the alchemist but this is like a very very good figure it has like plastic on the neck because it I think this head comes off yep. and you can remove the plastic and then pop the head back on like so and there you go that's Kubo Doombringer oh my god it's so so cute I'm thinking of collecting the rest of the series now <laughs> 
God help me, but yeah, it's so, so cute. Now moving on to the main event of this video, the small yet hefty box right here. Just like my Hirono reshape statue, this is relevant to my queer identity. I mean, this is relevant to a lot of people's queer identity, if I'm being honest. Anime has been around for a long time now, and different people gravitate to different types of anime. But one thing in common with them is anime offer us like an escape from reality, and we end up identifying with a lot of these anime characters. Now, this character is so, so iconic, and this spans a lot of different generations. Okay, here it is. This is actually really, really well packaged, and that's actually so, so good because this figure is so, so valuable. This is a China exclusive figure, and when the glam shots of this was released, like people were like going crazy about it. And I was too because this is, again, a, such an iconic anime character. And I never expected that Pop Mart would come up with a collaboration with one of their IPs. Alright, here it is. This is the Skull Panda Sailor Moon collaboration. Isn't she so, so cute? So, so precious. And oh, they have like a booklet with it. Oh, this is just like a free mini notebook from the store that I got it. Look at that! Skull Panda is so, so cute with the Sailor Moon outfit on. It's just so, so cute. This was actually sold out in seconds because, again, it's a China exclusive. People were like hyped up about the collaboration and it's called Panda, and now I see it on the second-hand market for ridiculous prices, like six times to seven times its original price. All right, let's open up this figure, and just like Hirono, this feels so, so premium with the plastic and a very, very hard box around it. Ooh. The Hirono box was just plain white, and this has like a blue slash violet color to it. And actually the box has this holographic uh, like design to it. And oh, before I open this, I bought some gloves to handle this. I see some unboxing videos of like luxury items and I've always wanted to try um, doing that. So this is a luxury item in the secondhand market. So I thought, why not? Let's do it. Well, I hope that the gloves fit me because I have like huge fingers. Well, it doesn't fit that much. It lacks like finger spaces in between the gloves, but that's okay. All right, I'm now all ready. Let's open the box. Wait, uh, I'll show you guys first. It's slippery with this glove, so... I gotta be careful about it. Alright. In three, two, one. Oh. Ah. I should have known that there's still foam on it oh the card is so so cute sailor moon x skull panda it's like as big as hirono reshapes um card if you remember my unboxing for that all right let's open this foam right here oh you can see there's like three inches of like foam all around it. So you don't have to worry. It's all safe. Let's take out Skull Panda over here. Oh, I'll grab it like that. I'll show you guys. Oh my god. 
It's such a beautiful figure. Oh my God. So beautiful, you guys. Well, now I know why people are like going crazy about it. It's just so, so cute. The details on it. And it has, oh, Sailor Moon's accessory over here. Let's open this. Let's take it out. And you attach this to her right arm, I think. Ooh. Oh my god, you guys. I can't stop looking at it. It's so, so cute. The details on it are so, so amazing. Starting off with its hair, it's so, so detailed. Just like an anime hair, you know? And its helmet is like pearlescent pink. And its ear um, globes or buds, it looks like pearls. I mean, they're not pearls, but they're like pearlescent also. The dress is so, so cute. It's Sailor Moon to the detail, starting with the bow at the front and the bow at the back it's like cool girl um outfit the gloves with the moon and the star details i mean come on you guys and the shoes are like so so cute oh my god this is like a dream collab i never knew would happen and here it is, it's in my hands. Many times, and I think a lot of you can relate to this, even as kids, we were taught to not play with a certain toy because it's for the opposite gender. We're not allowed to play with dolls because that's for girls. You're not allowed to watch this show because that's for girls. And I think that's just so, so crazy. As kids, we still didn't have an idea about gender identity. We can barely spell out our names and yet we are being forcefully fed with a lot of ideas of what you should and shouldn't be. As a kid, I've always loved watching Pokemon as apparent on my background right now. And that show was like considered as like a boy show because the protagonist is a boy, which is Ash Ketchum. But little did they know when I watched the show, I've always watched Misty. <laughs> the girl companion of Ash, and I fell in love with water Pokemons because of her. But there are animes like Cardcaptor Sakura, Magical Doremi, and Sailor Moon that I've really, really wanted to watch growing up. I loved watching all the flair and magic of these characters as they transform, and they just seem so, so fun. But the problem is, these shows are like for girls, they say, and I was not allowed to watch them. Rather, I was afraid of watching them because I was afraid of getting bullied. At that time, I was so confused because all I wanted was to watch these colorful, magical girls. It's not like I wasn't already being bullied because I was already being bullied about the way I talk, the way I walk, and the way I grew up and still am fat. Imagine as a kid, I've been constantly asked by a lot of adults like, Bayut ka? Which translates to, are you gay? In a very condescending tone. And as a kid, I didn't know if I was. I was just trying to live. It has taken a lot of years and a lot of self-introspecting to love myself finally for who I truly am. My Hirono reshape statue reminded me of the pain of trying to change myself to fit in and the damage it has done to me. But it also reminded me to take pride in all of my scars and to reshape myself into the best version of myself. This Call Panda Sailor Moon collaboration is me taking pride for who I truly am and to remind myself to be unapologetically me and to not care what other people say. As long as I'm not hurting other people, I'm good. This is me taking back my childhood and to enjoy things that I enjoy, no matter the gender. Here's to hoping that the kids these days and in the future don't have to deal with this trauma anymore.
clothes, toys, shows. You don't need to be a specific gender for you to enjoy them. Just let kids be kids and let them discover themselves for who they truly are. As a parent, the best thing you can do is to love your kids unconditionally, even though they want to be in boy clothes or they want to play with girl toys. So that wraps up my video and hopefully by sharing my story, a lot of people would relate to it and learn from it. Maybe they would realize that we are just humans and we just want to love who we truly love and just enjoy the most mundane things all people enjoy. To watch a show that we really, really like or to hold the hand of our partner in public without the fear of being beat up or being humiliated. All right, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell button so that you would be notified for future videos. Share this to all of your friends, your titos, your titas, your grandmoms, your granddads, everyone. All right, that's it. Happy Pride, everybody. Bye!